Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50 first round matchup between Runbad and Yudlagar, uh, Dwarves versus Goblins. It's very sunny, it, you can tell the difference when it's very sunny because of the, like, the higher contrast. Um, this obviously looks a very, a very one-sided game in a way because it's Dwarves versus Goblins. However, there are only 11 Dwarves and one is a Death Roller who's just double skulled. Um, yeah, and they've got no inducements. It's like, obviously it's the the goblins are the ones with the inducements. So there is only eleven. There is only eleven. Uh, oh, it wasn't the well, it wasn't the roll hitting first anyway. Um, so yeah, there is only eleven dwarves. So they will have ten players for the second half. You know, max and obviously the goblins might be able to do something, but uh, it's. It's a weird one. There's only a saw. There's no, uh, there's no spinny round man. No pogo. Just uh, a very, a very kind of min max goblin team. Only two skilled gobbles. One's brilliant, obviously. Edge four bludge. Sure hands. That's an incredible goblin, isn't it? So mostly just. Uh, just going to try and defensive Daka this half, Yudi, to have a team for the second. Makes sense. Limit the impact of the uh, roller. I guess the roller wants to start fouling trolls here. Just straight away, because it's got a dirty player. And I guess it also, it, to be fair, like it does dominate both trolls, so you could just leave it there and try and hunt down goblins for the rest of the half. While the roller just takes them out completely, so may maybe that's the best bet. Just stay there with the roller, don't foul, and hunt down the goblins. Hard to hunt down the goblins, though, isn't it? Because dwarves are so slow. My instinct was to foul, but thinking about it, it's probably better to uh, just use him to tie them up, right? Just take them out for this drive. And hunt down goggles. It's like a three for one trade is pretty good. Yes, at least foul the good one, yeah. But he had the assist for this one, didn't he? So If he'd fouled the good one, he wouldn't have broken armour and been sent off. So... <laughs> I think it was definitely better just to stay there for a, a while, right? Like, you you know, you want to foul them eventually. But you definitely want to just stay there and have a 3 for one trade for a bit, don't you? Like a three for one is a hell of a trade. Also, obviously, you want this runner in 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 the uh, in the protection zone. It is quite nice pairing him off on the loner, to be fair. It's interesting to see what Yuri does here. I assume he has absolutely no interest in attempting to stop the touchdown, because how do you? And he is completely abandoning <laughs> any semblance of defense here. Yeah, that's the thing, and if they do, he's like he's down to ten for the rest of the match, isn't he? Like he not doesn't have to wait for it to get sent off now, so he's already down capped at ten for the rest of the match. So any, any removals are kind of devastating for the dwarves at this point. I 
fix using thick skull correctly though. And now we'll probably see lots of mighty blow ba basing and some mighty blow blitzing. So what I like doing is not doing this if he's blitzing. Okay, he's not blitzing. I like putting this mighty blow on this dwarf, uh, on this goblin, this mighty blow on this goblin, and then this mighty blow blitzing this, and then leaving mighty blow. Like you want your mighty blows in contact, so you can generate mighty blow blocks. Don't you? that's the thing. So I would have all of the mighty blows in contact. You forgot a goblin next. Time. Hmm. Yeah, I would have had this guy out there. <laughs> Fuah. And that's the, like that. I mean, that is the thing, you know. Like if you, if you, you know, by by manning up like this, you do give away these hits. But on the other hand. If they fail, dodges away and stuff, then you can do things in it. Bit of a shit play to foul, this skill is going. But obviously, just for numbers, you've got to foul. You've got all the reserves. Not that many reserves, actually, but you've got some reserves. And they've got 10 max, they're capped at 10. You have to be fouling every single turn. Even if the quality isn't that great. Yeah, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? Like, maybe, maybe he should have foreseen this, you know, that he was just going to be able to, like, that he was going to be able to pick off the odd straggler and then gang foul it. I guess he wants to keep his bribes, but then I don't know. Foul with a non-DP so that he can keep fouling the DP with bribes in the second half. Yeah, maybe, maybe maybe that's his idea, right? Expendable fouls this half, and then the second half have the dirty player so you can foul every turn with bribes. Ah, uh, definitely halflings. Well, okay, so <laughs> um, it depends what you mean by your question, Swamp Hermit. If you mean in real life that is happening right now and actually winning CCL, goblins, because Yudi plays goblins every season and nobody good plays halflings. If you mean hypothetically, then halflings have got a much better chance if a good player was using halflings they would be they would have a much 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 better chance than goblins like an actual decent chance of winning but nobody good plays halflings so <laughs> so currently they don't have much of a chance at all Like somebody got the semis, I can't remember who, Larkstar got the semi-finals with uh, Halflings. Like Treeman are a lot better than Trolls, even though Goblins are loads better than Halflings, like on a player per by player basis. Sh cheap Chef is incredible and Trees are incredible. And like halfling stars are better than goblin stars. Yeah, it is incredible that you got the semi, but like, like it is incredible. E even though it's even though they're better than like goblins and stuff, and like they can beat anybody, it's still incredible. Did Elliot as well? It was definitely Lark Star. It was a hundred percent Lark Star. I don't believe Elliot's got the semi final, but I could be wrong. I think he got he got to the semi final or the final with Underworld. Maybe even the final I think. I think maybe Elio got the final with Underworld. He definitely got the semi with Underworld. But I, I know the flings was I know that I know that Larkstar got the semi with flings. Oh man. Lemon 
Well, I think I think I'm doing okay, but if if you want to join in, Lemon, you can. For sure. I'll make you a I'll make you a commentary team, Matt, and get you a picture, which we all know what it's going to be. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you, Mr. Fantastic? <laughs> I'm fantastic, thanks. I had a, a glorious, a glorious uh, 12, no, not even 12, 13 hours of Minecraft. <laughs> ah, are, are you erecting any more cocks? I did hear that you were saying you do have plans for the glorious cock. <laughs> well, no, I've got, I've got better plans than the cock. My plan is for potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> there are gonna okay. be there are gonna be there are glorious potato plans afoot for uh for Minecraft, so yeah, that, that's what I was working on all last night was potatoes. Speaking of potatoes, how does a goblin team win against a dwarf team in CCL, Jimmy? Tell me. Um by not having anybody hit, like how this match is happening so far, um, which is bizarre, but there you go. Like I don't know why people aren't getting based up by uh, dwarves, but you know, you need you need to not have your goblins hit, because if they get hit, they'll die. So, <laughs> so they need not be hit, and then you just throw a teammate um, to make it one-one, and then. Uh, after the half, and then for the second half, I don't know what I don't know what you do. Hope they've only got ten players and just dice them, dice them with yeah. removals, right? Dirty players. And stuff. That that's what I mean. You just dice the shit out of the uh, dwarves, or you lose. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, Zons have got to dice the shit out of dwarves, <laughs> and, and and goblins are like minor strength Zons. So yeah, they've they've really just got like they've got the saw and they've got trolls, so they've got like. They do have avenues to dice the dwarves, but it, it's hard. And they've got the one turn. Like, the one turn is pretty good. Like, they've got that going for them better than Zons, right? Well, they might not hear if these trolls stay out. So, so the way I see this game ending in a goblin win is they get a one turn here. Yep. They somehow stall out the second half. And then they win the toss and they do a one turn, and they win that way. I think that's the only way that's going to happen. Well, if they can stall out the half, they'll win. If they, if they can one turn and stall out the half, they just win, don't they? Will they? No, no, what I mean is, like, they, they score here, so it's 1-1, one, one, and for the second half, it's, it's also 1-1, one, one. and then for the extension, they just one turn. Yeah, yeah. Like if they can, if they can somehow stall out the second half. But the problem that goblins have is it's just hard for them to do like an eight turn drive, you know? Because like they're shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that is the core issue of goblins. They're a bit shit. <laughs> yeah, they're really rather shit. Ne never mind a bit shit. They're they're really r quite shit. They're like they're really really shit. But if if they if they bang out if the, yeah so they want they have to score the one they don't even have to score the one turn here because they can win in overtime. So but they'd like to score the they'd like to score the one turn here and they just need to bang out the dwarves which you know they've got mighty blow they've got dirty player and they've got a saw so they could bang out the dwarves and then like they've already got them down at ten haven't they which is wild like you know yeah. I mean they haven't got them down to ten they got themselves down to ten by the fact they had a death roller so like. Oh wow, what's this? He's chaining him forward the extra step because he's in range to hand it off to him with that extra step. Lovely, lovely optimization from Yudlagar. Yeah, that's a good play. I mean, you were just saying that he is a good player that plays goblins every season, so. Yes. Oh, that's not good. No, that's he hasn't rolled so well <laughs> on that pickup. But yeah, he's really good, Re really good at bullet ball, and re like it's it's a shame, you know, in a bit like Cyber Knight wasted himself on Bretts for all those seasons. It's kind of a shame that he wastes his good <laughs> blood ball on goblins. But there you go. <laughs> as, as a prime Brett coach, you would know. That <laughs> Cyberpunk actually wasted himself on Bretts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and ogres as well. He played loads of ogres. It's like God, and you know, it's it's such a waste. Like Dara's wasting his time on on uh, on 
halflings a lot of the time, isn't it? Oh, and a lot of halflings are better than goblins. They're still shit and they're probably not going to uh, win CCA. Maybe that's the trick, Jimmy. Maybe we don't like it, but maybe that's what peak performance looks like. Maybe you need to play these shite teams so that you can keep your sanity and bang out those 80 games a season or whatever it is. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, I did enjoy I'd played Halflings like once and I did quite enjoy it because I, I felt like I expected to lose rather than expecting to win. Yeah, I, I do remember that stream where you were like, all right, playing dwarves, we're going to die. And then you get your Zara or whatever her name is. You, you bang out some dwarves, you win, and you get a great rush because you're like, I expected nothing. Yeah. And I won. And it's a good feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cyber hasn't won with Burt's, but he's got, he's got the final three times with Burt's, I believe. Which is, in many ways, more impressive than winning with Burt's, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, actually, that is very impressive, getting to the final three times with Burt's. Did anyone win with Burt's other than Ducky? Yes, yeah, so somebody beat Ducky with Burt's in the final. He, uh, Ducky had orcs, and he just got diced to shit by, by Burt's. <laughs> so, that is sad. Yeah, well, there we go. There's the start of the bang out. Yeah, yeah, that's a good bang up. There's going to be a big foul here. I mean, he does have that really good goblin. And by really good goblin, I mean, like, maybe some elf teams would take him. Yeah. But for a goblin team, he's really good. Yeah, incredible. And here's a big foul. That was Debaser, was it? Thank you, Basil. Ah, I never, I never remember who beat him, but yeah, it's actually somebody who I knew the name of, which is surprising. Because I like, I was sure Ducky was going to win that. Because like, orcs are just like, orcs are like basically impossible for birds to beat, right? Because they've just got, they've got the strength, they've got the guard, they've got the mighty blow. It's like, yeah. at least, at least with chaos, they've got armor eight and stuff, so you can like maybe foul them out and stuff with your peasants and whatever, whatever you know. And like, you've got. You've got some you've got some route to victory against some teams, but like orcs just seem impossible for Brett. So like I was sure that Tucky was going to win, and then you know the the way it turns out, the way you beat orcs with Brett is by like making about six cars in the first half or whatever. <laughs> it's like... I, I think that's a surefire way to victory for any team. But yeah, yeah, I feel like a developed orc team is really good unless you're facing claw. Yeah, right. Because against dwarves. Right? They, they have the strength from the Black Orcs, and they have enough guard to match them guard for guard. And then what the guard, uh, dwarves do, right? They get shot. And against elves, they, they're relatively fast, and they can get tackled. So I, th I think a developed Orc team is pretty good unless you're facing Claw. Yeah, yeah. Claw, they, orc teams tend to take loads of tackle because they can't take Claw, and they start with blocks. So, yeah. so they're, they're a naturally cool. very tackly team. Um, Though, though they are slow, so like you know that can get them in trouble against against elves. But yeah, they are they are pretty good against elves. Pretty good against really good against the hybrid teams. Um, and yeah, only really bad against the claw. But being bad against claw is pretty bad for <laughs> for, for, for winning chalice when like you know there's there's loads of mega claw teams in. So we we talk about a lot with how dwarves are going to be overpowered in Blood Bowl Three. What about orcs? Since claw is going away. Are orcs getting much better as well? well? Are they sleeper OP, as some kids will say? In Blood Bowl 3, orcs will definitely be better than dwarves, because in Blood Bowl 3, it isn't going to have redraft. So, fair. The, the redraft is what is what makes dwarves completely insane. By the way, his, bribes, his fouls have been shit. He's used both bribes here, Yuddy. Um, that was absolutely brutal, isn't it? He's made two fouls and used both bribes. And once yeah. failed, so that's like horrendous, horrendous look on the fouls. Um, and there were good faults. It wasn't like one assist fault. There were some proper faults. Yeah, yeah, that's that's brutal bad luck. Um, so yeah, it's 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 the redraft that's what makes dwarves busted. And and so the dwarves are going to be a bit shit in Blood Bowl three, just because the just because the orcs will shit on them, <laughs> basically. Yeah, orcs really good. Plus move on. Plus move on. Uh, plus move on black orcs and no claw to to get them. Yeah. No one's still gonna take Mr. Troll though, right? Sad Mr. Troll. Oh yeah, yeah. He's 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 still shit. And you can guarantee stats on blitzers now, so you can just choose one. You can just choose one uh, blitzer to roll stats on. I, I, I just name him Senior Trover, I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the swarm. Lord. And it will be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> 
nerd ref. The refs are spank. He's he's picked he's picked all of the uh, he's spotted all the fouls. Redraft are oh, um, new goal plus. There is uh, there is a video. There is a video. Of, uh... Yes, plug it in, Jimmy. Get yeah. that YouTube money. Yes. Go boys. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll see if I can find. Um... As Jimmy's looking for that, let, let's comment a bit on the game. But sadly, there's there's not much to comment, really. It's just a bunch of dwarves beating the shit out of some goblins. <laughs> which, which is the way of these things, right? That's what you would expect. Oh, chainsaw action. Wow. Rick vindicated with the tick skull. Actually doing work. Oh, is he set up for a... Surely he's not going to fall the... No, he's not. There you go. There's 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 the video on like seasons and stuff, um, and but yeah, it, it costs more and more to keep players around, so you can't you can't just have like legend players kept around for forever, basically, um, and so you uh, most redrafts will have a limited budget, but it's it's all like it's all dependent on what the people running the league decide on, so most will be relatively low TV like redrafts and and so therefore people will be taking lots of randoms and stuff just to get some value before they have to redraft out a lot of players and and then like there'll be like you know certain players that you and like you'll cycle players around and stuff and there's all yeah tabletop well it's the new rules yeah Blood Bowl 2020 so but they're not going to have it in Blood Bowl 3 because they're just not going to bother to have redrafting in <laughs> oh, so. are they not programming that in at all because it's too complicated for them Correct. <laughs> Beautiful. I think it would have been really cool to have redrafting for CCL seasons, right? Just the like 1,100 TV redrafts for every season, and then you can bring along like a few skilled players to the next season. And I think that would be cool. Yeah. Right? It'd be like this player, this this block lineman that never gets any SPP has been with me for three seasons. He's completely useless, but there's some legacy there, right? Or you could actually get like a mighty below wolf that you got at the end of your last run and you're like all right let's give it a go with this one yeah or dwarves, I think with, cool. or dwarves with 10 guard yeah <laughs> or you could just do that and that's why doors are busted with redrafting <laughs> yeah <laughs> yep that's basically that's basically redraft oh my god wow wow what a name by the way slop merchant <laughs> yeah is there no? Is he already used? Did he not have a re app? Or was it already used? What the hell? He, maybe is he power up or something? Yeah, he must have power up or something. Yeah. Oh my God! Well, What's the good player that? Uh, that's oh, a he up right? this. I guess he up this because he up the loner. <sighs> that's a schoolboy error. Yeah, but now he's down to eight players. Oh my God. I'm I'm not too worried for the future of this. Actually, I might be. I might be. He's in a bad. Bad situation here. I think. Are we gonna see this go to the overtime, Jim? It, it's looking like it, isn't it? Um, it I think. The, oh well. Okay, maybe not. No, no, we're not. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, like from that dominant position. Are oh, he oh, re? Oh, okay, that's a pro. pro. <laughs> uh, it's I, hard, I don't think it? it does much if he catches that. Oh, but run, that's run. just taking the piss, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god! Outrageous! Outrageous! Oh well. Oh, he's in range. He's in range. Double GFI blitz. Let's fucking go! <laughs> he gets the ball. <laughs> Armor break. And Kaz. And a Kaz. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> now he's got the edge four ready to just get it again. Amazing. <laughs> I mean, even if the dwarves win this game, right? I think they're just wrecked for the next game with losing those two players. I mean, they were already wrecked. To be fair, they were the only yeah. eleven with, with a roller like this. It's, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible dwarf team. But yeah, it's, it's already baby. not a good dwarf team. And with these, I think they're just. Why couldn't you get this dwarf team for your next match, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'd have been okay with this one. To be fair. <laughs> Oh, they've been okay with these dwarves. <laughs> I, I, from what I've seen, PC has a fantastic dwarf team too. Like, not only is he PC playing dwarves, that is a good dwarf team. Yeah, yeah, it's 
He's got he's got a tack he's got a move seven runner with tackle, which is just horrendous, obviously, for, for Zons. And then he's got like a strength four, long beard, and some mighty blow and loads of guard. It's 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 horrible. Like it, it's not that good against like, you know, obviously Cyber Knight's team or whatever, but um for my team it's it's horrific. <laughs> I mean, with two of the most bash his team. I I guess Cyber Knight was okay at the end of that. But there was a chance where they could have just killed each other. Yes. And that would be a dwarf's tournament. There was a chance, but generally, generally, like, one team is going to batter the other, and then the other one might get the odd, you know, the odd bit of damage, which is exactly what happened, right? Uh, not uh, Spoilers, you should have watched this match before, though, so, you know. <laughs> um, like, Cyber battered Nolly, but not, but Nolly did make a, ki a kill on his way out, and, and that's generally how it goes, like, he, you know, one team gets battered, but they, they do some permanent damage. How, how dare you now watch the entirety of the stream and not give Jimmy that money? But... Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's a failed GFI. Ooh. He has to reroll. Yeah. Why well, is he going to make him alone as well? Reroll. I feel that's an unsafe place to stand. Okay. I mean, he's going to foul, but. I mean, it was a yap do a 3 plus without a reroll to, to get there. But yeah, it was, it was. it's without tackle, right? So. It was more important. Once he screened it, even if he two Ds him, he's got sides. He's got sides so, Yeah. You know, he can he can go forward and the ball would be screened. But that was a bit dodgy. Yeah, leaving that on. He's not dodgy. even going for it. No, well, it was between a one D, one D trying to power blood. It was shit, isn't it? So he, he can't blitz him. But then he can't really get in the way either. Yeah, yeah. So I, I feel like you have to take the one D here because otherwise, just uh. I guess it's still a 1 in 36. Yeah, no. It's rough. Like, it's. it's he can't. You can't really. Re I mean, we could reroll it. Maybe he, Maybe the tip there was just a 1D. Or, like, dodge for a 2D. Focus dodge for a 2D. But then you don't really want to risk your. losing your runner. <laughs> that was a very good to make a cheer fan, yeah. But obviously, he saw the plan to, like, screen it all off. Yeah, I mean, this is going to the overtime. Unless there's a riot and a two turn, which I don't think is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this, if if the dwarves win the toss, I think it's done. But if the goblins win, we still have a game. Yes. There's eight dwarves. There's nine, but maybe eleven goblins, right? I mean, actually, eleven goblins versus nine. We might e be able to see a defense. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's not going to be a good defense, but it might just make the dwarf slow enough that they have to slog through these goblin corpses. <laughs> that they maybe get to the kickoffs. Mm. Ah, this is just a sad dwarf team. Like, where, where is all the stand firm? Where is all the guard? How many yeah. is that? Is it like six guard? Yeah, it's not many. It's really low TV. It's re super low TV. Had to, do the goblins even have an inducement? I guess uh, they had some bribes. Two bribes, yeah. So only a hundred. Only a hundred in it. Hmm? Yeah, five guard I think he had. Wow, the, the SPP farming. <laughs> <laughs> Investing in the future of his uh, CCL Champs Cup run. I respect that. That is the kind of positivity you need to play the Dwarf team into the CCL. The, the, the tournament, whatever they call it. Oh, wow. Look at that. They got sniped four times by a 1900 kill team when they were an 1800 Dwarf team. That's horrible. Poor run yeah. bad. I, I think, as run bad, the, the second time that happens, I think you need to just stop. Hmm. Like you, you just don't play. Take take like a week off. Maybe it was just right at the end of the season. I don't know. But oh, well, yeah, clearly, there are no other teams playing. So <laughs> it was over three days, and it was five oh. times. Oh my god, that's brutal. To dwarves one, huh? Okay, I, I think that's that game. Eight. So three. No, the dwarves lost the toss. Oh, did they? they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, we've got a game, we've got a game. Yeah, 9 versus 8, quick snap. Oh, do you just go for the toss? No. Yeah, I, I think... Because <sighs> he's, he's got the pick it up, so... 
you can't like hand it off but you, what you want to do is set it up so that you can toss this edge four right yeah yeah i think so i think like you want to have the option for that because especially here you could just win right mm. yeah who was it who, oh, it could be mr tate or it could be, i mean there's plenty of shitty like there's plenty of shitty kill teams that like they don't have to be well coached do they to uh to snipe and yeah. ruin dwarves they could just any any randall any randall guy can just uh snipe with snipe with a kill team and murder the fuck out of your dwarves yeah they don't even need to win they just need to murder your team mm. <laughs> Ima imagine a world jimmy where science reverts to dan and people are paying other people science to snipe their opponents in ccl <laughs> oh god like that would be a very goblin thing to do, <laughs> paying to murder dwarf teams before CCL Cup. <laughs> yeah. Instead, instead we have the signs, which makes me infinitely sad. <laughs> yeah, keeping the troll, but I guess he wanted. It's interesting because if the troll here is pretty good, right? Because you're making a troll screen, and you still got other stuff. But I guess he really valued getting the getting the troll that extra square forward. I mean, that troll is really good there because there are not enough dwarves, and the dwarves that are remaining don't have guard, so that troll is difficult to deal with. A reroll there. I guess he has a billion, but. Yeah. And you don't want to just, like, you, you don't want to just get, let this handoff and happen and lose, right? You've got, so you've got to yeah. get something in the stuff. Nice. Nice GFIs. Those are some fast wars. Another, another double GFI. Yeah, Runbad's obviously been taking lessons from PC with his <laughs> <these> GFIs. <laughs> is he going to break tackle and then hand off? He is. Boy, howdy. We're just going straight for it. Pro. Oh my god, Pro gets the pow. I don't yeah. think that Pro has failed the entire game. That Amazing. Pro is valued. He's just going to go for it. He's just going to go for it, yeah. Yeah, this is the right play, because Goblins are shit, so yeah. you just got to take the touchdown when you can. So, one in nine. Yeah, he Gets just it. wins. Gets it. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I mean, I feel like this was a deserved win, right? Like, I think this was Yablagar's game to lose, and he did just lose it. Um, Runbad's game to lose. <laughs> They're on bad, I'm sorry. Uh, that was Runbad's game to lose, and... Like, he, he didn't have the best dwarf team, but I think he still had all the advantage. Yeah. And he could have just closed that this guy man in the second half. I mean, it's it's funny because, like... <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but with it being Yudlagar's goblins versus Runbad's dwarves, I would I would have favored Run, uh, Yudlagar's goblins, honestly, because, like... It's, oh, that's it's, fair. Yes, he's got the... He's got the, he's got the roller for a half but it's essentially like capped at, it's capped at 10 like it's so bad right it's such a bad team it, it's a really bad team so like if it was somebody not as good as Yudlagar you know then maybe or if it was like you know PC with the dwarves but like I think there's enough I think there's enough in the coaching to like you know swing it like a bit and then obviously, like, it's a really, 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 really bad dwarf. Like, it's a really yeah. bad dwarf team. Like, it's a super bad dwarf team. So, and then, you know, y Yudi is incredible. And that was an incredible troll, wasn't it? What an amazing troll. And it's an amazing goblin. What? He's got an amazing goblin and an amazing troll on it. And that was good enough, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he, he played really well. And as, as you were saying, with the two turn, like, I would have gone for the one turn because I immediately assume, you know, it's it's dwarves. If I'm against a good coach, I think I would go try for the one turn. But yeah, if you're better than the other coach, absolutely go for the two turn, which he was. So, I mean, you you've got to give yourself like options and chances, right? So you had like you, yeah. you, your first turn, you get you get the edge four forward so that you can lob him if you have to, and then you get shit down field that you can hand off if you have to. But yeah, the the dwarves. The dwarves obviously were, you know, could have been luckier, right? Like they didn't bang anyone out, but also he wasn't maximizing mighty blow tackle engagement on the goblins and stuff. Yeah, and, his um, positioning wasn't the be best, and with dwarves, you really need good positioning, right? Because if you just people let people run around you, then all that guard and tackle is not going to do anything. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Right. Well, um, 
commiserations run bad and you know I don't I don't want to be nasty you know like his team was awful honestly like it was a, you would oh, expect him to go out in the first no, round versus Ed, literally anybody except Ogres or Goblins basically <laughs> even and Halfling like defend. Halflings with I almost any defend. coach I would have favoured against that against that dwarf team um, he didn't do anything egregiously bad so no, exactly. Just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying that it might have sounded bad when. I was, but Yudlagar is great. Like he's incredible. He's he's beaten loads of people, hasn't he? He's, like he did really well in GG Tour. He got like the semi-finals or something with Goblins. Like he really is incredible with them. And um, so, congrats to Yudlagar. And uh, thank you very much, Lemon, coming and joining us for the first time. Very, very nice to have you pleasure. on. It was my pleasure. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.